Welcome back to MS Tech. Today we're checking out one of Logitech's membrane gaming keyboards, the G213 Prodigy Gaming Keyboard. And to introduce myself, I run the Tech Barn channel, and Matt recently asked me to join MS Tech so you guys can keep getting high quality content. And if you like what you see, there's a link to my channel in the description below. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. Starting off with the unboxing. We found it very interesting that the keyboard was placed upside down in relation to the picture on the box. Inside there is some documentation and the keyboard itself. Very, very basic. What surprised me the most wasn't even the upside down keyboard, but the lack of the Logitech gaming sticker. But oh well. Anyways, our first impressions of this keyboard was that it was very plasticky, but in a well-built kind of way. One thing that is to be noted is that the keyboard does have a good amount of flex on it when it comes to build quality. It isn't really noticeable until you start flexing it, but it is worth being noted. The design and build of this keyboard is very basic, and it makes total sense coming from a $70 keyboard. On the top right hand corner, we can find the many media keys. Here's how they sound. To the left of the media keys is the backlit toggle and gaming mode toggle. What this does is disable some keys during gaming to avoid any accidental key presses, such as the Windows key. On the back of the keyboard, there's a braided cable, and on the front, there is a built-in palm rest, which in my testing was very helpful. On the bottom, there are rubber pads on the top corners and one long one on the bottom, and there are two flip-out feet with small text on them reading 8 degrees, so you know the incline amount. And finally, on the top are the keycaps, which are spill resistant. Now, these membrane switches have a 4mm travel distance and a 50 gram actuation force. When it comes to customizing your RGB backlight, you can do so using the Logitech G Hub software. You have your usual presets like Cycle, Fixed, and others. Unfortunately, though, this keyboard only has 5 zones, so you can't customize each key individually. They are divided in sections, which is unfortunate to see if you like fully customizing your keyboard backlighting settings. Now, this wouldn't be a proper review without a sound test, so here you go. My experiences with this keyboard have so far been really fulfilling, considering that it's only $70 Canadian. The typing experience was as expected for a membrane keyboard, and for me personally, it was pretty fun. The backlighting was not as bright as I wanted it to be, but in darker conditions it was perfectly fine. The function keys were a nice touch, and I used them pretty often. If I had any nitpicks, I would have liked a bit more of a satisfying feel with the function keys, like maybe a scroll wheel for the volume, but obviously this is not something you would find on a keyboard at this price point. I was also a little bit disappointed with the lack of presets when it comes to the RGB customization. Overall though, this keyboard is very good for the price tag that it carries. You're betting a good amount of customization when it comes to RGB lighting, as well as many different media keys. These membrane switches are also very fun to type on, and definitely do not lack on the typing experience side of things. Despite having some pretty weak RGBs, the keyboard in our opinion is definitely worth it. If you like this content, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and also check out our channel. The link to that is in the description below. All support is appreciated. This has been MS Tech, and as always, stay classy.